deal over. After years of thinking Rock Valley College would be putting its advanced technology center into the old Barbara Coleman property, that's not happening. Dylan srocki has been on this story all day. Dylan, the city is not happy about this. That's right, Eric. The mayor says he received an official letter notifying him of RVC's decision to back out of the redevelopment project just this morning. I would say the uh, disappointing uh, for sure and probably an understatement. Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara is not happy with Rock Valley College's announcement. The school decided to develop its advanced technology center at the Rockford Register Star Building on East State Street instead of the old Barber Coleman building. The college already has a presence in that building. We've um, been in that building now for probably um, three years. So this is an expansion of that um, footprint that we already have there. Currently, RVC pays $250,000 a month for 15,000 square feet in the building. Under the new lease agreement, they'll pay $300,000 a month for 100,000 square feet. RVC President Douglas Jensen believes the tech center is worth the investment. Too often people will look at his education as just a public expense. And really education needs to be seen as an economic investment. And board chairman Patrick Murphy says the location is the best option for students. I think the Rockford Register Star Building is a better choice. It, it adds to student life that students are able to just walk out of the building and walk into you know, the, the local businesses. It brings a lot of students downtown, helps downtown flourish. As part of the original development agreement, both the city of Rockford and Winnebago County agreed to contribute $3.2 million to renovate the Barber Coleman building. McNamara says this was a chance to revitalize an area that really needed it. It was in a development in a part of our city uh, and uh, really a statement to the people who have been truly underserved for a number of years. No word on where the three million dollars from the city and county will go now. RVC hopes to have the Advanced Technology Center up and running next fall.